there guys welcome to today's video and if you are new here welcome to my channel i really appreciate you guys stopping by and checking today's video out so as titled today i'm going to be inspiring you and giving you some ideas of how you can style and decorate a styling decorative bowl now this one that i am using here is from target and if you guys have not checked out their new 2021 spring collection, you guys are due for a Target run. And I am saying this because they have amazing pieces this year. And I kind of noticed it right around Christmas, Thanksgiving time. They had their decor like on top of things. Like they had the most amazing pieces. But sadly, during Christmas and Thanksgiving time, I was not able to get my hands on some of these pieces as they do sell out very quickly. So if you guys have not been to Target, you guys have to run and check out their new pieces. And again, if you can't get out of your house or just don't want to go out, you can always shop online. But just keep in mind, not all of the pieces are available just yet. They won't be available until January the 25th, I believe. And so I'm not sure why they did it that way. But if you do go in person to Target, you'll see a lot of different pieces that you're going to find online. So it's very limited online. And I know a lot of pieces quickly are sold out already. I personally had to drive to two different targets way out of my way and I couldn't find these pieces. I had to order this one online and I ordered a few more, which I have a Target haul coming up soon for you guys. I'm excited to show you guys all the pieces that I purchased. So let's go ahead and get started with this one here. As you can see, I filled this in with some green apples so I was at the grocery store and I always buy green apples my kids love eating them with caramel and so I just had the bowl here on the counter because I unboxed it here and so I kind of just looked around and said hmm how would that look with the green apples inside and I just love the color contrast with the white bowl I just love the way it looks and it's a perfect way to kind of brighten up your kitchen for spring for the new year and it looks amazing I really love the way it looks I had my greenery topiaries in the window there and then I have my candle going on here and just having this bowl sit here in my island just get, kind of gives me like all of the spring vibes the brightness and so I really thought I wanted to share with you guys so you guys can be inspired and get some ideas in case you guys have one of these bowls or something similar to these sometimes it's hard to find what to add in there or where to place it in your home. All right, and besides the green apples, there are many other items that you can use to welcome the spring and just brighten up your kitchen. And here I'm using these faux lemons and limes. These, I bought them from Target last year and I filled them up in some glass vases last year, but I really like the way they are looking here in this bowl. It just gives it that brightness, all that color to welcome the spring and just, you know, brighten up your kitchen. I think it looks really good. Now, if you just want to skip the lemons or if you want to skip the limes, either vice versa will look really great. Maybe just the lemons, you know, just do all yellow, but also look really good. And maybe just a little bit of hint of the green here and there. Not too much if you like more of the lemons. Um, that also looks very, very great. Or you can also fill it up with some roses and maybe just do like some faux pink roses that will also look very cute. Or I also just thought of this right now, maybe you can fill it up with Easter eggs, like large Easter eggs that you can find at Michael's, like the vintage rusty ones. Um, that will look really cute, like pastel colors. Those are the ones I'm trying to describe here, guys. That will look really cute and it would be a perfect um, piece to have during April for Easter time. All right, and another really beautiful way that you can style your decorative bowl is by adding any type of beaded garland, just like this, and you can just place it naturally over the bowl and giving that color of this beautiful natural wood against the white just looks amazing. And I think it will look beautiful on your console table, on even your kitchen island, or if you have a coffee table, it will look really, really pretty. So um, if you have a black one, it would also will look really great. But I am just loving the style here. So I hope you guys like this idea and give it a try. If you guys have some type of beaded garland, I think that will look amazing and just give it a perfect touch. All right, guys, another great idea here are pine cones. Now, I know the holidays and Christmas is over, but a lot of people still love to decorate and leave a little bit of winter season uh, decorative pieces and accents around their home. And honestly, if I lived in a place where it snowed, I would really keep some pine cones around and some red berries and stuff like that all around the house. But here in Texas, we have sunny, beautiful days outside and it just feels like summer. It does not feel like winter at all. So it really doesn't give me that feeling of decorating with winter accents. And it just doesn't give me that vibe at all. It just feel like 
I just kind of feel like it's a new year. I want to brighten things up. So I'd rather go towards the bright side, you know, doing the lemons, the apples and stuff like that. So if you guys live in an area where it snows or you just really want to still decorate because it is although winter season, if you get still want to decorate with some winter accents, this is a perfect way to fill in your decorative bowl and style it on your coffee table, your kitchen island, console table, wherever it is that you have your uh, decorative bowl and it just looks amazing. I love all that texture that you see here of the pine cones and just the color of the pine cones with against this white bowl. It's just beautiful. I absolutely love this look and I think I'll be trying this sometime around the holidays when they come around one more time this year. I just think it looks amazing and I hope you guys give it a try and put something like this together. Another beautiful idea and one of my favorites is going to be this one here, styled with some tall and short candles. Now, I think I might need a little bit of smaller ones. I would like to add at least three to four in here, but this is what I had in the house. So this is what I added. I haven't gone out yet to buy some more candles, but this is um, a beautiful look. It just gives you the cozy, warm vibes if it's a cold day outside and you're just like chilling in your living room and watching some Netflix or, you know, if you're just having one of those nights that you stay at home and you're all cozied up with your blankets and you just turn on your candles. It's just an amazing feeling and I really love this style here. Now, I think I should add a little bit more candles, but for now, this is what I have and I hope I don't drop this while I'm trying to zoom into the camera here. But um, yeah, look at that, how amazing it is. And these candles were from Target. I got a tall one and then I have a short one here and um, I just thought they looked really beautiful inside of the bowl and I really love the look and the feeling that it gives me throughout the house when I light up all my candles. All right guys, and another great way to fill in these decorative bowls is using some moss. And right now there's really great deals at Home Goods. I was there the other night and it had this huge large bag for only $12.99, you can't beat that. This one here particularly is from Michaels and I've had it for a few months already but you basically just fill it in inside your bowl and there you have it, a nice, modern, very simple, minimal uh, bowl with some moss and it's perfect to fill in a nice green pop in your bookshelf and your console table and your coffee table, wherever it is that you're going to be placing this beautiful bowl with some moss, it just gives it that nice green pop and I think these ideas are amazing anywhere you use them in your household. All right, guys, I hope these ideas have inspired you to add some decorative accent to your home using a decorative bowl and some of the feelings that I just showed you. Now, you can also just leave it as is. It is beautiful the way it is. It will give it a very minimal look, which is also very beautiful. You can even stack it or place it over some stacked books. It will actually look perfect. It's like perfection. I had it like that when I first got it too. Once I had it removed from my island, I place it over in my bookshelf over some books and it looks amazing. Especially if you have a black covered one, you know, the black and white is just gonna give it a very, very beautiful look. So I love that style. I love the style of this bowl. Again, if I didn't share with you guys at the beginning, this is from Target and it is $30. It was $30 and um, I received this online because I couldn't find it at any store. I had gone to two different Targets and they were all sold out. So I found this one online. I know they were limited in stock. So if you guys are interested on something like this, make sure you guys go check out their website. And this is by Project 62. I'm not sure if that's the same line of the Studio McGee, but it says on here, Project 62 for $30. So. Um, again, this is from Target, so I'll try to link it below. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give me a like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you guys haven't done so for more upcoming videos, I'll see you guys soon.